Welcome back, surf fans, to the Oi Rio Pro presented by Corona. The show rolls on. Another big heat in the lineup. Ethan Ewing versus Zhao Chianka. Ethan Ewing right now ranked number seven in the world with lots of room to go. The surfers above him keep losing. This is a chance for Zhao Chianka to make a name for the home crowd. And here he goes. Somehow scratches into this wave. Whip crack start. Gets the second turn, hangs on. So somehow scratches into that wave a little bit late on the drop, but did damage out the back. So Jao Chianka, I mean, this guy is one of the fastest surfers on tours. You see him streaking down in this inside section, blows the tail. Crowd goes wild as they should. He was battling that wave from the beginning all the way to the end, made it look nice but uh, also made a push at the beginning of the year. This is a great way to start this heat. Replay of Chianca right here. Chombinho, big snap on the layback, comes around the bottom turn here. Another big snap, so the combination quick feet of the local boy, Joao Chianca. He's gonna get the first number advantage, early advantage to Joao. It doesn't matter, everybody at this point is so good and there's no such thing as an easy heat, but um, I just wanna, I'm happy to advance and get another opportunity out there. And, uh, I just want to do my best and whatever happens, happens. See the overview, the crowd has been swelling all day long. We're looking at a potential to have 40, 50,000 people on the beach throughout the next few days. As you see Ethan Ewing now, big snap there to start this wave. And again, you talk about placement of turns, always spot on with Ethan Ewing. And he always seems to be on magic boards. You know, the mistakes, they just don't happen that often when Ethan Ewan's surfing. Perfect finish there. So calm, cool, collected. I mean, he is just, he's a pleasure to watch surf. But he's also super consistent. Check it out again on the replay, using his priority, taking off, and watch how smooth this bottom turn is. All fins, big explosion off the top again. Smooth bottom turn and slashing through the top of the wave. So it's really that technique and the way he's able to smoothly connect through, you know, really kind of fat water in between the outside and the inside. But no real wasted motion here. Keeps the hands nice and low and boom, an explosive finishing maneuver. And that's what you want to do. That's going to be the last impact that the judges see. Slow motion, you can really study the long bottom turn. And then, in contrast, the stab to the lip and pushing the fins through that turn. Again, long bottom turn, and this time he's gonna change it up for variety, getting on the inside heel and giving a little extra push through that turn. Really nice study of dynamics with Ethan Ewing. I think a really cool, subtle element that makes for a really nice looking style. His front arm, you see his elbow almost pinned to his hip in between his maneuvers, and then when he goes up into his turn, you'll see it right here, raise up, Boom, build the momentum, slam into that lip. All right, that I mean, mistakes or errors in technique, you're not going to find them. You need to Chianca got a wave as well. So here's the replay of Joao, a little bit more troubled water in front of Joao Chianca. That thing closed out, so that didn't give him any opportunity. So he's still looking to back up that seven point. You know, he'll be able to lean on the strength of those third place finishes. Of course, a win here will get him right up into the prime time spot. Here we go, Ethan Ewing. Slashing layback, falls out the back of that wave, but I like that maneuver choice. He gave it his all. So one clarification for this year is that these surfers have one throwaway. Top surfer will advance through. Losing surfer, back to the drawing board. Here we go, Ethan Ewing. Identifies a nice looking wave, a huge power snap to start. He's relentless. What I love about his surfing is he, he, he doesn't make it look like he's trying too hard. You know, that is the flow element of judging. Linking your turns with style. Replay here of Ethan Ewing. Punches the lip. And that's what he's so good at. He's punching the lip, carving through this section. And that kind of surfing is the, is the clutch surfing and the great technique. The flow through this flat section right here for Ethan Ewing. Really, really impressive. Quiet body, sees a little rib and uses it to his advantage, snapping off that rib for some extra spray. Here we go, Zhao Chianka, quick double arm drag. Pulls in, gets the exit. 
nothing else available for him. So a nice tube ride, pretty quick. It wasn't huge, it wasn't super dramatic, but his low score right now is a 383. So let's see if that helps him out. We'll take a look first of Joao Chianca. Seeking the barrel, like you said, the double arm drag gets behind the curtain, disappears for just a sec, catches a rail right here, so he has to give up on that wave. So all the score is going to be off of that barrel. Uh, we'll see if that eclipses the 3.83. You like to see it in slow motion. Did have to take a pump here, but completely disappears. So that's going to be worth some points anytime you completely disappear behind the curtain. Here's a little rail catch, and this is when he has to decide, you know what, I'm not going to force this wave. Another replay. This is another wave. This just happened for Joao Chianca. Behind the curtain again, but this time has to doggy door his way out. Does a really good job. Now a little bit more on offer down the line for Joao Chianca. This doubles up on the inside. He's going to have to punch it, and punch it he does, but is unable to ride out of that final maneuver. But we need one more score to drop to really set the pace in this heat, and Ethan Ewing finds a barrel of his own. So he had back-to-back -back barrels with Zhao Chianka. Now Ethan Ewing gets involved getting a tube. So Zhao Chianka's first wave that he got that quick tube right on came through at a five. Zhao Chianka quickly followed it again with a tube ride and then did some work, fell on the inside. So we'll see what the judges throw out there for Zhao Chianka looking for a five, seven, seven. Let's take a look of this lap that you, Ethan Ewing. 691 is the number that he's looking after. Big, long barrel has to fight his way out of that, but does a good job for the completion right there. So he has some tube time, Ethan Ewing. His answer back to Joao Chianca in this back and forth seesaw match that you were explaining. Points at the Red Bull jet ski tells, me, tells him, I want to get back out there. Flying up above, you can see how deep Ethan Ewing was in that barrel, as well as the fight that he had to do doggy door out of it and get the completion we can really study this chris when we look at the slow motion and we can see ethan ewing's technique as he gets a pump inside of that barrel to accelerate through that second section and then has to fight for that exit busting through the door and complete we're back at it again it's like frank the tank set fill it up again jow chianka driving and coming through somehow gets clipped at the very end. So I'm gonna flip the script on what I said earlier. Kaipo, I said, go out there and do an air. Now I'm thinking, go out there and get tubed. Towards glory, the upcoming Rip Curl WSL Finals. We'll see Jao Chianka looking for a 6-1-7. Nails the lip, blows the tail, lands in the flats, and just a little too awkward for him to get back up. That's what you have to do, though. I mean, right now, you, you just start, you throw haymakers. Beautiful, and here we go. Back at it. Ethan Ewing trying to defend his lead. Only one turn out the back. So he did get that wave. Sign of good sportsmanship right there. The high five, the hug in the handshake. Ethan Ewing gets the win over Jao Chianka with more to come. You're watching the Oi Rio Pro presented by Krona.